I'm Saho. Do you like BTS or maybe Ika game? Some of you are smiling, so you know what I'm talking about. One is a popular Korean K-pop group, and the other a Korean drama. In recent years, a growing number of Japanese who developed strong interest in South Korean culture. A little before and after 2002, Japan-Korean World Cup, the Korean drama and music entered Japan and became very popular in our media markets. This Korean wave, so to speak, certainly increased the number of people who like South Korean culture. For example, according to the Cabinet Office Annual Diplomatic Relations Opinion Pool, the percentage of people who feel positive towards South Korea was 63% in 2009 and remained 60% range until 2011. Therefore, the Korean wave seems to have sus successful in spreading a, a favorable impression of South Korea to many Japanese people. On the other hand, there are still a number of people who hold anti-Korean ideas. These ideas have persisted since Japan's occupation of South Korea. Older people in particular have strong prejudice against South Koreans. As a result, some young people have acquired them from their parents and grandparents. However, we don't really know why older people are more prejudiced against South Korea what exact historical events are involved, and how the Korean people think about the events. We just somehow have a prejudice against South Korea. This, just because prejudice, is easy to, know, easy to hold on to and knows our way of thinking. I know because I have also had some prejudice myself. When I was junior high school student, I visited China as an exchange student. To be honest, before I went to China, I had no intention of going to China. At that time, I believed Chinese people were selfish, couldn't follow the rules, and had a strict hierarchy, and too nationalistic. The reason why I decided to go to China is my best friend has Japanese father and Chinese mother. She wanted to go to China, and my homeroom teacher let me join the program. During my stay in China, I found out how wrong my images were. One day, I talked to many local high school students and discovered that they studied very hard every day in hopes for a bright future. Not only that, they respect Japanese company and technology, and above all, they were not nationalistic. They try to think about what they can do for their country, but also what they can do for the world. I was very impressed with their passion. Another day, I did list because I couldn't speak Chinese and English well, so my host mother downloaded Japanese app and tried to speak to me in Japanese. I was very happy that my host mother had tried to talk to me in Japanese that I almost cried. Certainly, some Chinese may not be as polite as we Japanese expect them to be. Sometimes I believe Japanese are too, too strict about manners. For example, during watching a movie, people expect to be silent even funny or even during funny or scary parts. Maybe that just it just Japanese Japanese culture, but I don't think we should expect everyone to follow our example. When I watched the movie at the theater in China, I was surprised by audiences' big reactions such as laughing or getting angry. It was fun to feel to react to the movie with everyone else. From this experience, I realized it is important to enjoy a variety of cultural experiences without bias. After the exchange, I realized 
my prejudice is not true. If I hadn't visit, if I hadn't decided to go to China, I might still hold this prejudice against Chinese people. Even now, there are some points I can't understand about China, such as their politics. But every time I hear negative thing about China on the news, the faces of my host family and Chinese friends come to my mind, and I can't feel angry about China or dislike the people just because they are Chinese. Is your prejudice narrowing your way of thinking? Are you losing opportunities to learn and grow just because of prejudice? Through this speech, I hope I could help you to away your prejudice and search for the truth and to think for yourself. There are lots of ways to search for the truth, such as uh, you can visit another country like I did, make opportunities to talk foreign people and study international history. I don't want you to be burdened by prejudice. You should be able to enjoy K-pop concert or watching Chinese movie without feeling guilty, don't you? Thank you for listening.